Hello and welcome to LCTV News. I'm Adina Shahi. In this edition of LCTV News, Essex County Community Organization receives a big grant, St. Mary's Principal retires again, demolishing of Christie's, and more. The Essex County Community Organization is one of 1,000 nonprofit organizations to receive a $100,000 grant from the Cummings Foundation 100K for 100 program. The Essex County Community Organization is a North Shore based organization that is a network of 39 congregations that organize for racial and economic justice. With the grant, ECCO plans on using the funds for its Immigrant and Refugee Self-Sufficiency Program. ECCO also plans to develop and support congregational teams that mentor, accompany, and support immigrants and refugees in their journey to self-sufficiency. The Cummings Foundation is a Woburn-based organization which was established by Joyce and Bill Cummings in 1986. The foundation operates its own charitable subsidiaries, which includes New Horizon Retirement Communities in Marlborough and Woburn. St. Mary's Principal Jim Ridley is set to retire at the conclusion of the school year. This will be Ridley's second retirement from Lynn Schools. Ridley took the principal position on an interim basis at St. Mary's in 2015 after Dr. Mark DeFabio resigned. For 34 years, Ridley was a teacher, principal, and coach in Lynn Schools. Ridley also did two interim principal stints after his first retirement. The Board of Trustees Chair William Mosikowski told the item that the school be forever grateful for what Ridley has done for St. Mary's. Dr. John Dolan and David Angaramo will take over for Ridley. As for Ridley, he maintains that he will keep busy during his retirement. He is on several boards around the city, including the Lynn Teachers Credit Union, Lynn Tech Alumni Association, and Massachusetts School Administrators Association. Christie's Restaurant, a staple in the Lynn community since 1903, was demolished by construction crews at the end of May. Christie's is the latest business on the Lynnway to close its doors. Others include the Porthole Restaurant, which will be closing its doors within the next few months, Sports Center will be closing down, and Gorelick Farms will be closing its Linway plant. In 2006, the family proposed leasing the Christie site for the construction of a CVS, which was denied by the city. No plans have been announced on what will happen to the site, and the Dean family is not speaking on what they will do next. During last month's Lynn City Council meeting, a bond authorization to upgrade the Hood Elementary School was approved. The bond, which is approximately $5.8 million, will go towards fixing the Hood Elementary School's facility. With this bond, the council hopes that this will extend the life of Hood Elementary School. This bond may make the city eligible for a grant from the Massachusetts School Building Authority for up to 80% of the project for Hood Elementary School. This council has been working towards improving some of the city's aging school buildings. In February, Lynn Superintendent Dr. Catherine Latham got approval from the council to submit a statement of interest for Lynn Tech Annex Building for emergency grant money from the Massachusetts School Building Authority. The emergency grant would go towards repairing the school's roof. On June 1st, retiring school superintendent Dr. Catherine Latham was honored with the musical tribute at Lynn English High by Lynn Public School students. During the tribute, there were performances by the 5th grade choirs of Harrington, Sisson, and Shoemaker Elementary Schools, the All City Middle School Strings Group, and the Lynn Public School's All City High School Orchestra. Lynn Mayor Thomas McGee was on hand to give his thoughts on Latham's tenure as superintendent. McGee praised Latham for the impact that she had had on students and her ability to make a difference in the community. Rich Gorman, GE Communications Media and Community Relations Manager, announced that GE will be making a $5,000 donation to the Lynn Public School Music Department in honor of Latham. Dr. Latham was overwhelmed by this tribute and told the audience that it's been an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to serve Lynn Public Schools. On June 2nd, the North Shore Navigators kicked off their season against the Worcester Bravehearts. Mayor McGee was on hand to throw out the first pitch and LCTV was on the scene. It's great to be here tonight at the Lynn's Fraser Field supporting the North Shore Navigators, our favorite Lynn team here in the uh, as the league begins tonight, uh, just a great night. Looks like the clouds have broken away. I'm really excited it's to start the season, and uh, it's a great place to be, both for this game, for the season. Hopefully, people get a chance to get out and see this great team. And uh, for uh, low dollars, you can come down and enjoy some really great baseball. So, just gr glad to be here tonight and root on the North Shore Navigators to a very successful season. Beyond the Walls began their underpass lighting installation on June 2nd, and LCTV was on the scene. Wow. 
I'm Dave Olafer from the IBEW, business agent for Local 103. We're here installing lights to brighten up the underpass here on the T Bridge. We'll be on walls, all volunteers here, all donated by our NECA contractors. And um, everything here is, you know, donated, given back to the community. Congratulations to Peter Cabano, Hong Net, and Drew Russo for making the ballot for this year's special state rep election. LCTV will have much more election coverage in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching the LCTV News. I'm your host, Medina Shahi. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to our website to find out all the great things we are doing here at LCTV. Have a great day.